Well, hello, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. This is going to be your part two, Virgo. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. This is gonna be general. We're gonna use some tarot and some oracles. So this is gonna be for Virgo. Okay. All right, so the first few cards I have here is curiosity. It says, reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Do not take life so seriously. Huh? Well, I mean, it just depends, okay? <laughs> um, I do feel like some of you are going to be curious enough to see how people are. Like if someone wants to, you know, if there's some type of, uh, you know, dating, okay, that type of thing. The only reason why I say that is because I see passion. This was sitting right here. You couldn't see it. Just because passion is here. Um, oh, you also have abundance. This is so good because money has been coming out really heavy in your reading. So it's really good. But anyway, when it comes down to curiosity, this is part of like the, the full energy. This is like taking a leap of faith. This is like, I don't really know where this is going to go. This could be with traveling, moving, relocating. This could be dating someone. You're like, listen, I'm just going to go for it. And here with the passion card, this is really your passion all the way together. This is how you're feeling about someone. This is about your work and, you know, um, about what you, you're doing as far as your work, because whatever it is, is bringing in a lot of abundance. And abundance isn't always just money. It really is like happiness, it's joy, it's finances, and you had travel. So, you know, it, it's, it's just a whole big, big, you know, show. And this is what I'm saying here with you. I feel like the traveling could come through um, because of a relationship. Maybe you're dealing with someone or you will be dealing with someone that's at, um, at long distance. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more here. Your support system is going to be very important to you as well, Virgo. Okay, so two came out, we have collab and we have heart calling. This literally came out for Sagittarius. Okay, so <laughs> I'll put this here. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have sexuality. That's what I talked about with the whole passion. And if you've been following me for a while, you already know what's happening with the sexuality for Virgo this year. Um, you know, Mars entering into the eighth house with sexuality, that type of stuff. So, um, you know, I really do feel like there's a lot of hot cosmic energy that's going to be coming in for Virgos, but it's not just, it's not anything that's just a fleeting thing. It's not just a, oh, it's just a hit it and quit it, just sex. I, and I don't feel that way. Just because here with heart calling, it's like you are really in your feelings about someone, you're in your emotions. You're, you know, you're feeling somebody, okay? That's your heart stream being pulled. That's what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead, very interesting. Now we're gonna use this P Oracle deck. I very seldom ever use it. So I'm like, I bought these cards. I'm gonna use these cards, okay? So let's go ahead, let's see what we have. This is gonna be for Virgo. What comes out for Virgo? First card I have here is addictions. Oof, now this could be you or someone else. It says, you know, there's a situation that's being influenced by addictive behavior. It says it could be you or a person involved, okay? Um, try to have some compassion on this person. Some of you could have this energy. You know, sometimes love could be very addictive, but it could be someone that you're interested in that, have, that, that may have addictive behavior. It could be sex addiction. It could be alcoholism. It could be any of those things. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, you have a compassion means that you have to deal with it or you have to be with them. But it's just, you know, looking at things from a different perspective. You know, you can love someone from afar, but it does look like, you know, it may be hindering a relationship from coming together because there's some type of addictive behavior. And, you know, this is you creating self, I mean, creating balance, okay? Um, and having self-care and compassion on yourself to not deal with things that's going to pull you down energetically. Here, yeah, I love it. Balance, just talked about it. It's amazing. Um, with relationships, it says balance is gonna be needed. Um, make sure all relationships are equal and balanced. This is a re re reciprocation. Reciprocity is gonna be, is 
should be at the forefront of your mind in all relationships, even with family. Um, it says, you know, even though there may be obstacles to overcome, you still need to know your worth and you know, you should always remember that you deserve respect. So, you know, sometimes people can get comfortable in relationships. It could be best friends. It could be your family members. It could be love. Virgos, you know, we know we have a habit of, you know, giving too much. Um, we are the service sign. And unfortunately, people take advantage of that. Okay. And we lose ourselves. So this is the reason why I talked about balance and self-care before this card even came out. Um, so we have to remember that that's something that you will be facing in the future with some type of relationship is what I'm saying here. At the bottom of the deck, it is distorted view. Remember, we talked about perspective. It says a change in perspective is needed to view you or your situation with compassion. It says choosing to heal this brings the broken pieces back together to create a healthy viewpoint. Now, that doesn't, like I said before, you know, this is, you know, not being deluded, not living in delusion. What is it, you know, and I think I've, I think I've had a reading with you where I said, you know, you need to maybe have to adjust your expectation and is it, if, is it meeting your reality? That's all this is saying. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get into your tarot. Let me see what this is all about for Virgo. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just rubbing my fingers, trying to get it wet. <laughs> All right. So Virgo, I do see here with the world card, a lot of success. And this is a part of your abundance. I see home here. I don't know. I just feel like there's a relocation in your home. I see that. I see a lot of stability, a lot of success and stability. You have the tower. So I do feel like there's breakthroughs. There's just unexpected events that's going to happen. That's going to come in for you. Very unexpected. Very unexpected. Now, remember I was talking about, I'm going to look at the good and bad for these cards. Okay. I did the same thing with Sagittarius. With the world card, if you're looking at it in a bad term, okay, because some of you could, not in a bad term, but if you're looking at it in a way that's not so positive because we've all been there, right? The world card could talk about repeating cycles, right? Not not closing or putting in boundaries so you don't have to go around this roller coaster ride, okay? And so this is what, you know, this is what we're trying to get off of. We're trying to get off the roller coaster ride and not repeat the same patterns and behaviors. Here with the four of wands, the opposite of stability is instability. Now this, this is mentally, this is emotionally, it's all of that. So here with the four of wands, it's what do you have to do to regain, to be grounded, to regain uh, uh, control of your life, to feel, a, to feel stable, basically. You do what you need to do in order to have that. And, and sometimes it has something to do with other people pulling on your energy, and causing a lot of disruptive behavior. That's what we saw with the tower card. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Look at this Virgo. Now I'm not going to clarify these. I'm just going to tell you at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, <laughs> y'all already know I hate the word patience. You already know, especially if you've been on the channel long enough, you know, I cannot stand that word, right? Spirit knows I can't stand it, but that's just something that they're just trying to, you know, teach me. They're, they're trying to say, listen, this is just what it is, right? So the nine of pentacles really is being patient. But to me, it's, it's more than just patience because you already know something's coming. It has something to do with the very fact that it's worth the wait. Because you, usually when this night comes in, they're serious. They're very much grounded. They know what they want, Okay. Now, happiness is coming. We got the sun card here, which is rejuvenation, is healthiness, is happy, is joy. That's what I talked about with the abundance card. Um, I'm not going to say, I mean, can you really look at the sun card in a not so good light? I feel like, you know, you could be dealing, it could be you or someone you could be dealing with that needs to be in the limelight all the time. You know, <laughs> the, the sun is the self, right? It's who you are. And, you know, um, you could be dealing with someone that's, uh, you know, like I said, it could be you who just wants to be seen all the time, who wants to be heard all the time. 
you know, and sometimes it's better to just, you know, lay low and be quiet. That has something to do with friends, you know, being around you or people being around you who know all your business because you don't know how to be quiet. Okay. That is the car where if it's, if, if it's not necessarily in the best aspect of the sun, some of you could be in that energy where you're just doing too much and people you're too obvious. That's in relationships, all kinds of relationships. You don't want to be that is too much exposure. Okay. So it's a dim it down a notch, but in a good way, like I'm going to always look view the cards is it is happiness, joy, and good health and, and, and vitality. Here with the Ace of Wands, same thing. This is, you know, um, an action card. It is very sexual with sexuality. I was trying to steer away from it, but I just so happened looked over and I'm like, oh, well, I mean, hello. I mean, <laughs> so it's very sexual. Um, but the bad part about this is to say, it, well, I guess a warning, I should say, is do not move too quickly with anyone, Okay. When it comes down to relationships, you want to make sure you think before you act. All right. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. You know, I'm not really used to doing this. All right. Like this is a little bit different. You know, I kind of have to go off the, the the dome, as they say, with what I see. And right now I'm not at I'm not at my 100 percent to even be doing that. But hopefully you you get what I was trying to say. Hopefully this information help you. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about collaboration. I probably overlooked that. This is a soul tribe. And this is also when it comes to your work. I believe some of you will be partnering up with people to create something. And this is part of that Ace of Wands, which is creating something. This is maybe a new job or some type of new adventure. Virgo, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I love you and I will see you back here soon. Bye.